Practicing mindfulness is a no-brainer for physical and mental health. Mountains of research have shown that practicing mindfulness on a daily basis reduces stress, anxiety, depression, blood pressure, and physical pain while boosting the immune system. So it's something we all should be practicing regularly in much the same way that we all should be getting regular exercise. I've made many YouTube videos on mindfulness, which are included in my mindfulness playlist, but this one is different. I'm not going to explain mindfulness. Rather, I'm going to let the masters speak for themselves. I have chosen quotes that aren't just inspirational, but also instructional. For example, be here now is a great quote, but it doesn't say much about how to be here now. So my goal in this video is to present quotes that give you direction in creating your own mindfulness practice. And finally, I want to clarify one thing. Mindfulness is a way of being, whereas mindfulness meditation is the structured practice of mindfulness. Thus, we meditate as a way to practice being mindful so we can bring more mindfulness to our moment-to-moment -moment existence. Now, I will read each quote and then pause briefly so you can consider it, and then if it resonates with you, you can pause the video and make a note of it for further study. So let's begin. The mind is just like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets, and the more it can expand. Mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. Training your mind to be in the present moment is the number one key to making healthier choices. Being mindful means that we suspend judgment for a time set aside our immediate goals for the future, and take in the present moment as it is, rather than as we would like it to be. Mindfulness is simply being aware of what is happening right now without wishing it were different, enjoying the pleasant without holding on when it changes, which it will, being with the unpleasant without fearing it would always be this way, which it won't. The way to live in the present is to remember this too shall pass. When you experience joy, remembering this too shall pass helps you savor the here and now. When you experience pain and sorrow, remembering that this too shall pass reminds you that grief, like joy, is only temporary. In today's rush, we all think too much, seek too much, want too much, and forget about the joy of just being. Mindfulness is a way of befriending ourselves and our experience. Much of spiritual life is self-acceptance, maybe all of it. Meditation isn't about trying to throw ourselves away and become something better. It's about befriending who we are already. Meditation is the only intentional, systematic human activity which at bottom is about not trying to improve yourself or get anywhere else but simply to realize where you already are. All of man's difficulties are caused by his inability to sit quietly in a room by himself. Meditation is essentially training our attention so that we can be more aware, not only of our inner workings, but also of what's happening around us in the here and now. The real meditation is how you live your life. Look at other people and ask yourself if you are really seeing them or just your thoughts about them.
Nothing can harm you as much as your own thoughts unguarded. Don't believe everything you think. Thoughts are just that, thoughts. Every time we become aware of a thought as opposed to being lost in a thought, we experience that opening of the mind. We often have very little empathy for our own thoughts and feelings and frequently try to suppress them by dismissing them as weaknesses. Feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. One is a great deal less anxious if one feels perfectly free to be anxious, and the same may be said of guilt. What would it be like if I could accept life, accept this moment, exactly as it is? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Suffering usually relates to wanting things to be different than they are. To diminish the suffering of pain, we need to make a crucial distinction between the pain of pain and the pain we create by our own thoughts about pain. Fear, anger, guilt, loneliness, and helplessness are all mental and emotional responses that can intensify pain. As soon as we wish to be happier, we are no longer happy. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Mindful eating is about awareness. When you eat mindfully, you slow down, pay attention to the food you're eating, and savor every bite. It's only when we truly know and understand that we have a limited time on earth and that we have no way of knowing when our time is up that we will begin to live each day to the fullest as if it was the only one we had. This is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Essentially, meditation allows us to live in ways that are less automatic. This necessarily means less time spent worrying, ruminating, and trying to control things we can't control. It means we become less vulnerable to the throes of the fear-driven older parts of our brain and freer to use our newer and more sophisticated mental abilities, patience, compassion, acceptance, and reason. Awareness is the greatest agent for change. Mindfulness isn't difficult. We just need to remember to do it. Let me repeat that. Mindfulness isn't difficult. We just need to remember to do it. That is the key. Mindfulness is not something we just think about. Rather, it is something we practice in a formal way by meditating and remember it is an option every moment of our lives. If you'd like help learning to live more mindfully, then visit my website, Serenity Online Therapy, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button 
and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.